Senator John McCain has softened his tone on whether to confirm Chuck Hagel as Defense Secretary. That's a big change from last week when he said this. I think history has already made a judgment about the surge, sir, and you're on the wrong side of it. And your refusal to answer whether you were right or wrong about it is going to have an impact on my judgment as to whether to vote for your confirmation or not. Well, that was uh, John McCain last week, uh, dis sounding distinctly different from uh, his tone this week. We've got Sarah Murray on Capitol Hill to talk more about this. Um, is John McCain getting soft? <laughs> well, I think you saw from that clip, there's certainly no love lost between these two guys. But I think what we've seen this week is that John McCain, I mean, does believe that Chuck Hagel is going to be confirmed. And he came out and said, look, I'm not going to filibuster this. You know, that's not what I believe the Senate's role is. And I think you can vote however you want. But I think filibustering a cabinet nominee is just a bridge too far. And so too far. And, and basically he's coming out and saying he's not going to, you know, stick his neck out and, and really be really, really hard on, um, on Hagel. Yeah, I think that's right. And he even, you know, went to this Republican retreat yesterday and told his colleagues in the Senate, look, I don't think we should be filibustering this. So not only is he saying he's not going to do it, he's pushing his colleagues to follow his lead. Hmm, that's interesting. So is that pretty much it? Is that all the obstacles gone for Hagel? Now, the funny thing about these confirmation processes, they can get tricked up all kinds of ways. And so the other thing we're still looking for is whether senators are going to try to place a hold on the Hagel nomination once it moves to the full Senate floor. I think that's an option that senators like John Cornyn and Ted Cruz, both from Texas, are still keeping open. Hmm. So is it pretty unusual for things to get held up in this way or like the way you described for um, a cabinet nominee? It is absolutely unusual for a cabinet nominee. I mean, to filibuster a cabinet nominee would be unprecedented. They've been rejected at times, um, but usually kind of the Senate tradition is the president gets to pick his cabinet, and if he, you know, nominates someone, unless there are huge reservations, that person gets passed through. Tell us about Texas uh, Senator John Tower um, and his nomination process. Yeah, you know, this was an interesting kind of intersection between then and now because McCain was a big advocate for John Tower uh, back in the 1980s. And this was one of the few cabinet nominees who was actually rejected. Um, senators took him to task. They accused him of being a womanizer. They said he had alcohol abuse problems. And, you know, John McCain calls this kind of the worst moment in his time in the Senate. He says the Senate just totally abused their power and, you know, this, this wasn't their role and that this guy was qualified for the job and instead they turned it into a character assassination basically. Okay, and that's obviously not something that John McCain wants to do. We'll leave it there. Thank you very much, Sarah Murray of the Wall Street Journal. You can read more about that on WSJ.com and in tomorrow's paper.